Introduction to Compute Module 3, the Raspberry Pi Foundation has launched a new version of its compute module in January 2017. The compute module is more flexible form factor intended to provide an easy and cost-effective route for producing customized products. While the original module launched in 2014 contained the guts of a first generation Pi. The new Compute Module 3 is based on the Pi 3, so offers a major boost in performance. The Raspberry Pi Compute Module 3 is the latest in a line of embeddable units that provide the processing power for a wide array of industrial, home automation, and Internet of Things devices. Compute Module 3 is the third generation component designed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation to deliver the processing power for devices both big and small. It can be used in home automation gadgets and embedded in industrial products such as process automation system. It is designed to be used in markets around the world and affordably provide connectivity that may not be easy to obtain from other resources. Compute module is intended mainly for industrial device makers that want to manufacture a wide range of products running a variety of operating systems and connect to the internet. The compute module could be used in consumer electronic devices or by hobbyists to build their own devices. It is a good solution for smart TVs, industrial devices and others that don't require complete connectivity. Large format displays from NEC's European division, mini satellites and signage represent other potential applications. It is ideal for Internet of Things devices. In a statement introducing Compute Module 3, Raspberry Pi Foundation CEO and hardware lead James Adams said the module is ideal for devices that connect to Internet of Things. Compute modules have, since their inception, been built into smart home devices and other IoT products. The latest version improves their functionality, processing capability. The Compute Module 3 ships with an ARM BCN2837 processor with up to 1.2 GHz clock speed. It also ships with 1 GB of RAM. To put that into perspective, Compute Module 3 offers 10 times the CPU performance customer would find in the first generation model. The breakout board. Compute Module Input Output Board Version 3 A complementary add-on component helps the developers to get the most out of Compute Module 3. Also known as the Breakout Board, it gives users the ability to program Compute Module 3 or Compute Module 3 Lite and makes it easier to access its processor features. Also, the I.O. board as an SD card socket to support the Compute Module Lite 3 variant. The breakout board also includes USB, GPIO, camera, display and HDMI connectors to enhance its functionality. The I.O. board provides the necessary power to set up the Raspbian operating system and access the console. Operating System One of the nice things about Compute Module 3 is that it's designed to work with just about any operating system. You can choose to go with Raspbian, the foundation's authorized operating system, or go with something else such as Android. It is another way to do tinkering and innovation with the module. Compute Module 3 Lite 
the compute module development kit also comes with a lower cost alternative to compute module 3 the light version has the same processor and ram as the compute module 3 but exchanges the built in storage for a sd card slot it costs dollar 5 less than the full version size compute module 3 is 1 mm taller than the original version and its processor can run much faster than compute module 1 designers will need to account for those factors when embedding the third generation model in their devices pricing compute module 3 is now available for dollar 30 through the company's partner element 14 and rs component the light version is on sale for dollar 25 i suggest to go with compute module 3 development kit which includes all the necessary components for getting started